Hello and welcome to the back of my van again. Um, I'm out in the van and I've got a couple of reviews to do so yeah if you haven't seen them check out my other reviews. I do lots of different things for all sorts of products to do with van life in photography or that kind of general uh, arrangement. Um, thanks to Jackery. A quick note for Jackery. Jackery powers my laptop when I'm using my laptop in the van. Uh, I've got three different size Jackeries. They do a 240, which is this little baby one. They do a 500 and they do a 1000. And both the 500 and 1000 are at home at the moment. They are charging things and catching as much solar panel as we can while we've got the hot weather. And the bills are very high. So yeah, they're very, very useful. So thanks to Jackery for these. Um, and yeah, do check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below for them. Anyway, I'm here to talk about this today. Um, this is the uh, Gosky. I thought it said ghost, but it doesn't because I'm dyslexic. This is the Gosky binoculars high quality. So these are a high quality uh, set of binoculars uh, that have been sent to me by Gosky. They asked me if I take a look at them and I thought, well, yeah, I've looked at binoculars before because I find they're actually quite a handy, useful thing to keep in the van and to have handy if if you're scouting out if you're a wildlife photographer for instance and you're scouting out and you're looking for birds or even if you're just generally sitting in the van like i am at the moment and i've got the big cement works over in the distance and i can actually have a peek and have a look and see what's going on or if you really want to be nosy there's a load of camper vans up the top there you can have a look and see what's going on up there so yeah i've got a set of binoculars to have a look at these are 10 by 40 and before i go anywhere and before i show you what they are i'm going to try and explain to you what 10 by 40 means and why 10 by 40 is a good size of binocular so I'll put this up on the screen for you as well so you can see it why I'm reading it because uh, like I say I'm dyslexic so I'm a little bit slow so uh, what does 10 by 40 mean and how can it be uh, how can I uh, see clearly so basically the 10 by 40 binoculars are probably the best range uh, for your birding your sports your hunting and stuff like that because it gives a more natural view and it's easy to hold um, if you go to the 12 times binoculars 12s are a little bit harder to hold and don't give quite a good clarity and uh, the 42 means so they've got you getting basically 10 times magnification I'd say 12 times magnification, that's a little bit harder to hold. As you would know, if you've got a big zoom lens, it's a little bit more difficult and things move around. Uh, the 42, I think, is the diameter of the, the lens on the end, and it gives you an all-round good uh, perception for light and quality. And uh, so, yeah, I think I think the Temba 40 is quite a good. I have actually got another pair of binoculars here, so I've had a pair to compare it to, and I've also got a pair at home, which are the bigger style ones as well, which we don't use and we don't carry around, but these will be handy to keep in the van. So what do you get in the box? This is your box, and it is empty at the moment because everything's on the table in front of me. You get a little bit of, a little bit of destructions, and you get a small uh, instruction leaflet to show you what to do with this that also comes in the box this is actually free with the binoculars it comes as part of the kit this actually takes your phone and you can rig up your phone to look through one of the eyepieces which is pretty cool a little bit difficult maybe to set up but it's pretty cool because then you can take photographs through your phone through that 10 times magnification not bad eh? you get a strap which will go onto the bag that this comes in so your strap will go through the uh, actually this is a strap to go on your camera um, I'm not on cameras I'll wear on binoculars this is a strap to go on your binoculars because the camera bag actually gets its own straps so I'm just pull them out for a moment it's got its own strap around the bag so you can actually carry this around um, on your shoulder and I say this one then attaches to the rings on the side of your binoculars so this is your binoculars very very lightweight I think they're I think they're really light for what they are um, they feel a really nice quality. They've got a nice feel to the, to the metal on them, to the alloy. Um, they feel pretty good. It could even be plastic, but it's got this rubber, rubber feel to it. So it feels like they're quite sturdy. And you can see they've got front and rear caps on them. Brilliant, because you can put these in your bag as they are. You don't even need the pouch. You can just drop these in your camera bag and stuff like that and you, you don't need um, any protection on them because they've got their own protection. The only thing is with the, the top ones, the, the rear ones, when you take this off, this is loose. Um, if it was on the camera strap, you can actually slide this up your camera strap and hang them on there. Um, the bottom ones are on a little ring, so you can actually drop them down and leave them hanging like that. Um, looks a bit like that. Johnny Five's alive. I bet you haven't seen that film, maybe I'm talking stupid. So there's your 42mm diameters and you've got your 10 times. You can see on the back there, it actually says, if I can get in close enough for you, it says on the back there, 10 by 42. Okay, it's back on my face. Right, also uh, with these, you can tilt, you can open and close them. You can see there, they open and close. Basically that's for setting up your width of your eye. Depending on how wide your head is, you will need to adjust them and get them in position 
on my head, they're pretty close together. My eyes must be quite narrow. Uh, you wouldn't believe it, would you? But uh, there they are. Also on the top, you've got this big knurly grip. The knurly grip's really good for uh, focusing. So basically you're gonna look through them and you're gonna focus on a point. And until you focus on that point, it will not be in focus. Um, and they have got hell of a range on them. They're really good. And I'm gonna show you the range in a moment. So yeah, they're, I think these are really good, really well designed. Now they have uh, these little rubber cups on the back, which you can screw there, see that? You can actually unscrew that and unscrew that. And that basically sets your distance between uh, your forehead and your glass and your, the lenses. I need mine pretty close because I need them quite close to my eyes. But if you've got uh, eyeballs that sit out a little bit more, you might have to adjust them. That's what I assume that for. Tell me in the description below if I am wrong, but I need to keep mine quite close because I've got a big chunky forehead. Also on this left eye, you have a, another thread. You can see this one's quite clear on this side and this one's got a thread on it, a bit of a knurl on it. This is for focusing your separate eyes to different positions. Now, as you know, I wear glasses. I've worn glasses for a long, long time. One eye is definitely stronger than the other eye, a lot different. So basically you would set up your focus on your left eye and get this top ring set to your left eye so that when you're looking through it, get something really, really sharp and in focus, get it exactly how you want it, and then adjust, and then close that left eye, and then adjust the right eye to match. Okay, once they match, that doesn't need to be moved. If you're the only person using these, it doesn't matter. Uh, it'll be set for your eyes then, and all you've got to do is focus from the middle. So yeah, close your right eye, focus on your left eye, with the big one in the middle, then get your right one adjusted to fit that. Okay, not the other way around because be it won't be right to so get it that way around. Uh, so yeah, really, really good, really, really nice quality. The lenses look really nice. They seem to have a coating on them and the coating should help any glare. All right, so I've got some information on my phone. I already saved some stuff anyway, because uh, it'll be going up on the screen for you so you can read it. So you've got the Goski uh, 10 by 42 Proof prism binoculars for adults. Uh, HD professional binoculars for bird watching, travel, uh, hunting, sports, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they got FMC lenses with phone mount. Uh, I don't know what FMC means, uh, so please let me know. They are a multi-coated uh, BAC4 prism uh, compared to a lot of other companies that do a single coated BK7 prism. So I don't actually know what a BAK4 for prism means. Um, I'm sure I can look it up, but I'm pretty much sure that someone in the description will put a note down there. And when I can find the information, I'll bang it up on the screen for you anyway. But they're a multi-coated lens with a BAC, a BAK4 prism. Uh, prisms are, are normally to do with the glasses, aren't they, or something like that. Um, so it's gonna give them a lot clearer, a lot sharper looking image. On Amazon at 75.99. Um, on the Goski website, they are $79.99. So um, yeah, $79.99 or $75.99 on UK Amazon. Um, we have got phone mount HD. They are a WFOA, which is a wide angle. Um, BAC4, which I've also mentioned, shockproof and rainproof. So these are a little bit rainproof as well, which is probably that nice rubber feel you get to them. So it stops the water getting inside and the moisture getting inside them. Uh, advanced multi-coated, which we've already mentioned. 10 times eyepiece. They say they're fog proof as well. They've got a fog proof body, rainproof and fog proof body. So it'd be interesting to see what they're like, whether they get cold and warm and whether they stay clear, whether they fog up as well. Um, that'd be interesting to see. All this information will be going up on the screen for you. Package dimensions, 2017 by seven centimeters. Uh, item description, uh, the product is, so these are 14.6 by 5.3 by 12.6 centimeters. So they're about 15 centimeters long um, and five centimeters wide. They weigh 0.9 kilograms, so they're nice and lightweight. Um, I do think they're actually quite light for what they are. Um, that's the package weight. They weigh 0.7 kilograms, so quite lightweight. I think they're pretty good for the weight. Um, it's got a, a color of 1042 binocular B. Any idea what that means? Please let me know. 
Uh, objective lens diameter 42 millimeters, which we spoke about. That is the lens on the end. Part number is GOB A002 and their center focus. Like I say, they got the center focus ring on the middle there. That's all the information I can give you. All I can do now is set up the uh, mount for the phone and uh, show you it works. Basically, you'll put your phone in this mount here. You'll line up your hole on the back to your center. You can see where my lenses are. You put the line in the center, line it up. Mine is the middle one. Get it exactly in the middle of that hole. And you do the little thumb screw up on the side there. And once that's on, you then just pop that on the front of there. Cool, isn't it? Right, so you don't pop it on the front there. I don't even know why I said that. I knew it went on the back. So you put it on the back and you do this little silver screw up. So I've now got a pair of binoculars with a phone attached to them. So I have to double click on mine to get my camera open. And you'll see my camera opens here. And I'm actually gonna put on my live view just so you can see what it is I am doing. So you can see exactly what I am doing when I'm doing it. Let's start recording. So I'm gonna to have to zoom in a little bit. Let's get it going. So you can see I've got the binoculars set up with the ring as close as I can to the middle of the lens. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just zoom in slightly on the camera to give me that full frame. Now, remember I said to you, you get this center ring for focusing. I'm gonna focus best I can on the barbed wire in front of me. And you can see there, nice and short, oh, just past it. The camera's actually trying to focus as well, which is a bit odd. So I need to focus on the barbed wire and it's not really that easy. So I'm gonna ignore the barbed wire because the camera's always trying to focus when I'm trying to focus as well. So let's move our focus point down through the grass, down through that beautiful pink heather. Let's go back into the distance. Image stabilizer would be better still. But now I'm gonna focus on hopefully the car, the Castleton um, cement works and try and hold it as still as I can. If I put video on for you, it should hold it stiller. There we go. Let's just zoom in. Now I've got digital zoom on top of the camera zoom and that's giving us quite a view all the way down to Castleton. And it is hard to keep steady. Uh, these actually come with a tripod mount so you can actually put a little tripod on there and balance it on a tripod and that would be your best way to do it but yeah that uh, is quite a long way off now if I take these off and show you how far away that is and I'll keep this all on live you'll see that that is quite a distance away so let's just spin that out the way for you like so and you can see now from inside my van that's a long distance away and if I was to digitally zoom in on that I can't get as close as what I was before so um, yeah, they are pretty good for attaching to your camera. I'm just gonna do one little thing on them. I'm just gonna zoom in and focus on that cement works. And I'm not kidding you. I can see cars, I can see paragliders up on the top of Mamtur and around the edge. And I can't even see them with my naked eye. They are a long, long way off. Let me just see if I can show you this. Let's just put that back on there for you. They are a long way off. They are tiny little paragliders flying. Switch that back on. And get me screen record to start recording for you. Have a look at this. Take the lens cap off, that's better. Right, let's just show you that we can see some paragliders over on this hill and now they're going to prove me wrong if they've landed now i see it's very very hard to keep it still can i see them let's just drop the other one down so i can have a look through one eye yeah he's just over to the right so let's just have a little look see if we can find him there he is, he's just off to the right hand side there. 
little paraglider. And I know I'm not holding it very still, but if I was to start video recording, I think the image stabilizer would probably kick in for you. Very, very cool. There's no way you could get that focus at distance. You can just see him. Right, let's stop that. We're being silly now. Let's pull them off. Yeah, I've just got a little, a little one other little thing. I've got a, another pair here, and I just want to get a bit of a comparison to size, weight, and shape. Now, these are 10 by 26, so you can see that the end there is 26 mil instead of the 40 mil. So these are very good for keeping in your pocket, but they do not have the range that these others do. Um, I can see the tower. I can see the paraglider, but with these, I can see into the into the cement works, into the tower, and I can see almost make out vehicles and stuff where the paragliders are. So these are a lot stronger than these. Quality-wise, I would say they are as clear. They are very, very clear. Colors are very, very clear. Very, very sharp. They're both about the same for sharpness and clear. Um, they both work very, very well, but these have definitely got a lot more reach. Um, so yeah, very, very nice. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to have a look at these, I will put the link in the description for you so you can have a look at them. They do other size binoculars. They also do monoculars, so it's a single one. They also do birding scopes and stuff like that. Um, they even do a night a uh, pair of binoculars for seeing in the, in the dark. So I'm hoping to get some of them at some point, uh, which would be great to see if we can get the wildlife, especially when you're in the van overnight. It'd be really good to be able to see that um, and actually have a go. But yeah, really, really nice. Thank you very much to um, Goski for sending them. And I'm gonna have a bit of a play, see what I can see, have a bit of a look, see if I can find some wildlife, a few birds and stuff like that. And if I do, I'll try and get a photograph and put it on the screen for you. Ciao for now, see you soon. And don't forget to check out my other links, my other videos. I do all sorts of stuff. Tada, bye bye.